Hi, I'm Seng. So today I will share with you if you're the beginner for the Genius Post or you just newly purchased but you don't know how to start, this video can help you. Thank you. So first, go to the setting. Then go to the Wi-Fi. Make sure the Wi-Fi is connected to the Genius Post Wi-Fi and the printer must turn on. Then go to the Genius Post. Then log in your own account. For example, I log in my admin and then go to the cash register, go to the function and then go to the manage till manage till means that the start of money for your business your petty cash let's say if you put 200 then I key in 200 and then you click set means that you put 200 as a petty cash for your business okay let's say if you're running a restaurant or the business that you need to use your draw money to pay something let's say you buy the ice so you go to the function Go to the pay in payout, or you record your own expenses. Then let's say I put the remarks. Let's say I said buy ice, and I select pay out, and I key in the amount. Let's say I put ten ringgit to buy the ice. Then click add. Then it shows here buy the ice ten ringgit and click OK. This how you start your business. Okay. Then if how you take the order very simple. This is all the category. Make, select let's say the pizza so this is the stock amount so let's say I click order two then I click two times if I order one then I click one times then some item may have the various which the sizes or different flavor let's say I click a medium or some item they have their own special requirement or we call as a modifier like a extra wage extra cheese then click add if you want to cancel the modifier just click here and you click Edit modifier to untick it or increase it. Click add. If you want to show the item price, very simple. You swipe down. You show four ringgit fifty cent. For example, I swipe down. It's ten. It's zero ringgit. But inside the veggie, I got small, medium, large, right? I swipe down. You show the price. If you want to change the color, like say this is a gray color, I want to change color. I swipe up. I can change the color. I click set. Okay. After you're doing an order, you click whole bill. Then it shows the receipt number is mentioned by that way if you didn't select the table numbers. If you're a restaurant, okay, you can go to the table layout or you can access from here the table and you click on the table. Then you can take the order. Then click whole bill. So you go to table layout. So on the table eight, this order item that's four ringgit at fifty cent waiting for and waiting for zero minutes. If you want to transfer table, you hold the table and you click change table. Then you can select the table again, then it will transfer already. If you want to click yes, it means that in the kitchen they receive their own kitchen order that mentioned from the table eight change to table six. Okay, let's say uh, in the table 8, I order the item, which is the burger. Okay, if I want to merge the table from table 8 to table 6, I hold it and I click merge table. And I click on the table 6, then both bill will merge together already. So, after taking the order, if the customer want to pay, just click on the table. Or you can select on the transaction to select the bill. Okay, after that, if you want to open drawer, just swipe here. Then you can select the open drawer. When you click, the drawer will open. Then if you want to pay, if you want to pay, very simple, you click pay. So total is 9 ringgit. If the customer pay by cash is 10 ringgit, so you select on the cash, it's dead here. You click on 10 ringgit, cash in. If you want to print one receipt, just turn on this. If you want the two receipt, just turn on this. Or you can turn it off. Okay, the reason I turn it on because I want to show you the receipt preview. So I click check out. So it will show the receipt preview on here. It's pay by cash. Click cancel. What if your customer is pay by e-wallet? Let's say the boost. So I click pay. Then I select on the boost. And then the boost is e-wallet and you no need to change and they always pay in exact amount. Just click exact and then click check out. Let's say your customer order two items and you want to Give this out on a single item, just click on the item. From here, you can select on the I 
which is your preset discount or you can direct give an amount for the percentage or by price or you also can give the price override or you can mark as the takeaway because some table they will order for dine-in and some food is for takeaway and after that just click confirm so it shows the pizza is takeaway and the proof of it is for dine-in if you want to give a discount for the whole bill very simple just click on the discount then this is for the whole bill let's say it's 12 ringgit i want to discount 50 cents for the whole bill so i click by price i put 0.5 i click apply so it will become even ringgit 50 cents is discount by price if i want to change to percentage very simple go to percentage if i want to discount for 20 percent i click here 20 percent i click apply so it become 2.4 ringgit which is Nine sixty cents. You have to cancel the discount. Click on the discount. Click the cancel and click apply. If you want the closing, go to the function, go to the manage still. Then you calculate all the money inside the drawer and key in this column. Don't worry because your staff won't know that how much the figure for the current tail. For example, if I log in using another account, so I go to the function, manage still. It won't show the figure. So let's say if I'm closing, I put a amount, let's say I put 180 and I click close till. So it won't allow you to close till because you still have unpaid bill. So you can go to the transaction and check do you have any unpaid bill. Okay, for example, if all the bill has cleared already, you can go to the function, manage till, you key in the amount. Let's say I calculate got 180 and I click close till. So you eventually you will print out a X reading report or you also can refer to the report and go to the X reading and you select on the date and you click general report and it shows the to date till so it shows here that you got the unpaid sales for 12 ringgit and then the net sales for 35 ringgit by 50 cents and then there's a one dine in and one to go and then the sales after discount it will shows here and then from the payment information, it will show that there's a one cash bill paid by cash is nine ringgit, and one boost is twenty six ringgit fifty cents, and one payout is ten ringgit for buy the ice. So from here, opening balance is two hundred ringgit, and your closing is one hundred eighty. So you got tail range of negative nineteen ringgit, which means that you have short off nineteen ringgit. And so normally there's a few reason why you got short money. Is it your closing or opening amount? Is it correct? Or maybe you got, you got any void or refund that you didn't key in? Or is it your payment type got key in wrongly? Let's say for example, they pay by bank transfer and you key in as a cash. Or is it got any unpaid bill or any suspicious open cash draw history? That's all for today. Thank you. I'm saying, system, I'm saying.